hello everyone and welcome to chemistry class in today's class we'll be looking into chlorine and its compound and chlorine is part of the halogen family all right let's start chlorine is the most important element of a family of very reactive non-melters non known as the halogens the halogens are found in the group seven of the periodic table and each atom has seven valence electrons what do we mean by seven valence electrons that means we, they have seven electrons in their outermost shell that's the last shell and chlorine does not occur alone in free state because it is too reactive it is usually found in combined state as chlorides and the most abundant of this is sodium chloride or common salt found both in C and as C deposit we have also listed other elements in the group 7 table we have fluorine chlorine bromine iodine now, how can chlorine be prepared in the lab? Chlorine is usually prepared by the oxidation of concentrated hydrochloric acid with a strong oxidizing agent such as manganese for oxide or potassium tetraoxomanganate 7 or lead 4 oxide. So here we have the equation of reaction where, where manganese 4 oxide is used as a strong oxidizing, oxidizing agent with concentrated hydrochloric acid to give manganese chloride, water, and chlorine gas. Then we want to use tetraoxo manganate 7 as the oxidizing agent with conch hydrochloric acid. We have sodium sulfate, we have potassium chloride, we have 8 molecules of water, and lastly, we have 5 molecules of chlorine gas liberated. Now, how can chlorine be prepared in industries? You know, because the way we produce in industry is different. Is different from the way that it will be produced in lab in the industry you will use larger quantities now in the industry chlorine is manufactured by the electrolysis of brine which is salt water and the chloride of molten sodium magnesium or calcium the chlorine is then liquefied and stored under pressure in steel cylinders physical properties of chlorine how do i know this is chlorine when i say it so chlorine is a greenish yellow gas with an unpleasant choking smell it is moderately soluble in water it is about 2.5 times denser than air then chlorine is very poisonous as little as 20 parts per million of it in the air can cause can damage the mucus sliding of the lungs now chemical properties chlorine atom has seven valence electrons so it is very reactive as it needs just one more electron to achieve its stable electron octet so um but how does it do this by just by gaining electron from met usually from metals of group one and two to form electrovalent compounds e.g is um, sodium chloride and calcium chloride and also by sharing a pair of electrons in single covalent bond with another atom at gaseous chlorine and hydrogen chloride test for chlorine i've said that chlorine is a greenish yellow gas with an irritating or choking smell so its presence can be confirmed by the action on damp litmus paper and starch iodide paper Using damp litmus paper test, you drop a piece of damp blue litmus paper into a gas jar of the unknown gas. If the litmus paper turns pink and becomes bleached, the gas is chlorine. Using a starch iodide paper test, drop a piece of damp starch iodide paper into the unknown gas. If the paper turns dark blue, then the gas is chlorine. What are the uses of chlorine? Chlorine is a powerful germicide because of its oxidizing nature. Chlorine is used as a bleaching agent for cutting, lining, and wood pulp. It is also used in the sterilization of water for domestic and industrial use and in the treatment of sewage. Chlorine is used in the manufacture of important solvents such as trichloroethanol, which is used for the manufacture of insecticide. Also for the manufacture of the widely used plastic polychloroethane, known commonly as PVC, that's polyvinyl chloride, and synthetic rubber. It is used in... It is also used for the production of domestic insecticides, potassium, and that's why you notice that most of the insecticides we use as um, an irritating smell. So you would always go out after using an 
insecticide in the home and this cause of chlorine no said chlorine has a choking irritating smell all right so potassium potassium trioxychlorate 5 is also used in making matches and fireworks compounds of chlorine all right we have major compounds of chlorine and one is the hydrogen chloride and hydrogen chloride exists as a gas at stp and when it dissolves in water it gives us hydrochloric acid all right so uh, hydrogen chloride occurs in trace, traces in the hair as an industrial byproduct it is an air pollutant by ball can readily be washed down by rain because of its solubility in water laboratory preparation hydrogen chloride is prepared by the action of hot concentrated tetraldo sulfate six acid on any soluble chloride so here we have sodium chloride reacting with um tetraldo sulfate six to give us sodium tetraldo sulfate six and hydrogen chloride as gas and how is it prepared in the industry too it is made in large amounts by direct combination of hydrogen and chlorine gas is obtained from the electrolysis of brine and that's the equation for illustration physical properties of hydrogen chloride one pure hydrogen chloride is a colorless gas with a sharp irritating smell it turns damp blue in its paper to red showing that it is acidic of course we know that when a litmus paper a blue litmus paper changes to red showing the presence of acid then three it is denser than air it is very soluble in water forming an aqueous solution of hydrochloric acid it doesn't burn nor does it support combustion so it does not burn chemical properties of hydrogen chloride gas it reacts with it it reacts with ammonia to give ammonium chloride it also reacts with metals to give zinc uh, we have example here zinc reacting with hydrogen chloride to give us zinc chloride and then liberating hydrogen gas hydrochloric acid reacts with its bases to form salt and water this is known as neutralization reaction we have sodium hydroxide here as the base and we have hydrochloric acid to give us sodium chloride the salt and water the acid also reacts with the trioxocarbonates for we have um hydrochloric acid with sodium with trioxocarbonate with sodium trioxocarbonate four to give sodium chloride water and CO2 carbon four oxide. Now uses of hydrogen chloride and hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen chloride gas is used in the synthesis of that in the production of chloroethane, an important component of some plastic. It's also used in the manufacture of gelatin and glue from tendons of animal and the production of glucose from starch. It is also used to remove oxide from metals prior to electroplating. In the lab, hydrochloric acid is is actually an important acid because it's used for testing analysis and preparation of other compounds well chlorides are normal salts they move to chloride these are salts formed when metallic ions replace the hydrogen ion in the hydrochloric acid and this illustration we have a sodium ion we have hydrochloric acid now it has dissociated we have the hydrogen ion and the chlorine negative ion now this sodium will take the place of hydrogen to give us sodium chloride and this is what we know as chloride so when metallic can, can be any metal it could be calcium it could be zinc when it takes the if when it replaces the hydrogen ion in the hydrochloric acid so we have chlorides and you need them as such now this is sodium so we have it as sodium chloride if it's zinc it is called zinc chloride all right so so in summary Chlorine is a non-metal element with seven valence electrons. Chlorine is a very reactive gas, combined with metals and non-metals to form chlorides and a powerful oxidizing agent. Hydrogen chloride is prepared in the lab by the action of tetrazosulfate 6 on sodium chloride, soluble gas on sodium chloride, soluble gas that is soluble in water to form hydrogen chloride hydrochloric acid rather then hydrochloric acid reacts with metals to release hydrogen concentrated hydro hydrogen chloride is oxidized to chlorine by a strong oxidizing agent then also chloride react with hot concentrated tetrazosulfate 6 to liberate hydrogen 
glow red i have some assignments listed for you i hope you try them and i would love to get feedback from you thank you for today's class <music>